everyone and welcome back welcome back to zoo tycoon 2 and the island treasure zoo which is still so tiny isn't it the cutest little zoo ever oh, i'm so excited to be back here because today we are hopefully going to be adding in the platypus so the platypi i'm very excited about that Ooh. Ooh, look at that! This kid just bought himself a nice cheesecake. There's not even a plate or a fork or anything for that. That's fine. I'm sure that's fine. Are you gonna enjoy it? I'm just gonna stalk this kid around for a second, watch him eat his cheesecake. Climbs up on the little bench. There we go. You gonna eat your cheesecake? There you go, he just shoves the whole thing right into his face. I love it. I love it. But yes, yeah, so our spotted couscous are pregnant. Not yeah, you would be. Where's the males? Where are my males? Hello? Are they? Oh, there's one. So the spotted couscous females are currently pregnant and expecting. So they should be having their little marsupial babies any moment now, which I'm super excited about. And we are also working very hard on keeping the zoo. Hi, sweetie. Oh, we got to groom her. We're working very hard at keeping all of the animals in the zoo nice and clean. We have a challenge right now going on in our island treasure zoo to run the zoo for 30 days without any animal reaching a pressing or critical hygiene like need. So if we do that, we can get a bunch of cash. We've got a ton of cash, so we don't really have to worry about that, but it's still a nice thing to try to take good care of our animals. Oh, and thank you guys so much. Somebody mentioned, Siri, you forgot the gate for the saltwater crocodile, and I sure did. So I'm going to go ahead and add this in. <gasps> and they're giving birth. Oh my gosh, they're giving birth. So remember, normally the spotted couscous is a marsupial. So when it would give birth after a brief 13 day gestation, oh, did it just give birth? Where? Where's your baby? There we go! Look at him! He's already diving in. Oh my gosh, and I don't even have any room for pictures. That is not gonna do. Okay, I need to add a new album really quickly. Island Zone! Huzzah! And then we're gonna go ahead and... Oh gosh, these are a lot of pictures from the Asian Zoo. Uh, and some from the Dino Zoo. Oh goodness gracious. Okay, well we need to go back to, let's see, uh, da, 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 tropical birds. We've got so many different albums. Asian Forest Zoo 3. Do I have any room there? I do. I really love saving these pictures. One day I should go through and just show you guys these pictures, shouldn't I? Because I get super excited. Look, there's a tiny little egg for the Spix Macaw. And let's see, anybody else in here? I think everybody else is going to be dino stuff. Do I have a dino zoo? Do I have dino? Okay, we're gonna add dino. Okay, there we go. Dino Park 1. So that's gonna be first Dino Park album. And then we'll go ahead, add these little guys in here. Aren't they so cute? Aren't they just so cute? And then come over here, add these little ones, and this little one, and this little one. Maybe take out this one. There you go. Mystery subject. Huh. All right, and then we'll clear this. There we go. All right, pardon me for keeping busy like that, but there's this little one. Look at how cute. So this is the baby couscous. Though normally, because they're marsupials, they would be these tiny little hairless itty bitty babies that would be down inside. Oh, the other one has given birth too. Oh, that's so much fun. Normally what would happen is, why are you in a crate? Why, why do they keep putting my little ones in a crate? I don't understand this. My zookeepers have issues. I might have to change the fencing. Maybe the fencing is making them nervous. But yeah, oh, geez. All right, normally these little ones would stay inside of their mother's pouch until they were large enough that they could come out, they could run around, they could be um, what you see now, but they're not born kind of like primate monkeys where they just pop out and they're ready to go. All right, has somebody else been put into a crate? No, he's doing okay. He's just relaxing. What is he up to? He's gonna go climb the tree fern. They really like these tree ferns. Oh, is the baby climbing the little tree fern? Oh, nope, it's one of the males. Hello, buddy. How are you? Oh, I love it when there's multiple couscous per, per tree fern. That is so fun. So, whoops. And so the babies are doing well and just calling off for their parents. Let's see. The kangaroos seem to be doing okay. Pound in the ground, playing chase. All right, they're doing fine. We still don't have the two stars. We had two stars briefly, but they kind of went away. How you doing, Old Salty? Old Salty's just treading the water. Seems to be doing all right. People seem to really like him. What do you think, sir? Ooh, he needs some benches over here. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go ahead, grab some nice benches and put them down over here for the people who want to come this far to see our animals. Um, let's see, maybe one there. We could even put like a couple benches over here. Because I am going to hopefully turn this into the platypus exhibit today. And so I do want to have people coming down to look at our platypi. No, that's not what I wanted. That is not what I wanted. I wanted something more like this. There we go. Let's come down. 
smooth this out. There we go. So the platypus exhibit doesn't need to be huge, I don't think. I'm pretty sure they aren't the largest animals in the world. Hey, they are. And I believe last time we were looking over the Island Treasure Zoo, I was talking about how I hope in the future technology and zoos will start to really have more merging with each other. And animals could be in completely enclosed areas if they're super shy and get stressed out from exposure the way the platypus apparently does. But we could keep cameras and guests could control where the cameras switch around and what they look at. So hopefully that way the animals can still be observed, they can admire them, they can see them sleeping, playing, doing all sorts of natural behaviors that they won't do when they know there's an audience. So that's one of my hopes that that will be happening in the future, but that requires a lot of money to be invested to set up those kinds of cameras. So, I mean, they do it with like pandas, but that's because they're, they're pandas, you know what I mean? So we're looking at the T's now. I need to come back up. P um s's there's pig platypus there we go here's the little platypus oh my gosh and it is so little oh my goodness this is gonna be like a gigantic exhibit for it i know very little about platypus i actually don't know if they are social creatures if they are not social creatures i know they lay eggs and i know that they also nurse their young they are considered a mammal it's an egg laying mammal it is not the only egg laying mammal but it is one of a very short list of egg laying mammals Let's see. And it says temperate forest, western part of Australia. There's old Salty climbing up out of his perch. So it looks like we definitely need some water for these guys. Ooh, and kelp beds. That's right, because they are very water dwelling. Let's research some rock formations, misty springs, ball with rattle. And yeah, this is all stuff that would go into the water more or less. So let's go ahead. Temperate forest, huh? All right, let's see. Temperate, 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 temperate rainforest, temperate forest. Australia has huge and diverse. Yeah, look, it's the natural, natural exhibit that it's in. Has a huge and diverse uh, amount of different biomes or let's see, what's the proper word for it? I can't believe like climate ranges. There we go. It has a very diverse set of climate ranges. Some of you guys were very upset. You're like, Siri, Australia is not just rainforest. And I, I totally know that. But the area that we're in, we're kind of mimicking um, a certain forest in Australia that I was looking up. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to put down the water. And we'll just have the water come all along the back. And then, let's see, I'm going to need some deep water too. So, ooh, look how pretty that is. And then we need to come in and we need to smooth it out because I can't see a thing on what's going on in here. So we're just gonna have to cross our fingers that that's smoothed out enough for them to be able to enjoy. Oh my goodness, the water is so pretty, but I just can't see anything. Like, I, I hope that this is putting down the stuff they need to eat in the right places. We'll just have to cross our fingers. There you go, little guys. <laughs> I hope this does it. I can't see anything. Hopefully that'll make them happy. And normally I don't believe it would be kelp beds that they would be on. It would be, um, they dig holes in the sides of rivers from what I remember off the top of my head. They have like little tunnels that they create. Oh, the red panda, pan, or red panda, the red kangaroo is now pregnant. Yay. All right, there's the temperate forest rock formation. Here's the misty spring. I kind of want to see if we can set the misty spring up in the back corner somehow. So I wonder if I can pull that off. Maybe I could just do it like over here and then flatten the ground because Misty Spring cannot be placed in water. Hmm. That's kind of what I wanted to do though because it looks like it would be really fun. Let's try this out really quickly. All right. We're going to gently flatten the terrain just along here. Oh, I can't do it that way. All right. Well, we're going to come over Temperate Forest right here. And then I want to take the Misty Spring. Yay! We're a two-star for a brief moment. Who knows how long it will last. And then right here. No, I need the Temperate Forest, please. There we go. Let's just come this way. All right, we'll deal with this kind of in chunks. So then we come this way. All right, then I have some rocks and everything that I can use. Let's see, how many rocks are there? Lots and lots of different rocks that we can use to varying effect. Dang it, we lost that star. All right, well, we'll work on that in a little bit. And then you can come down, temperate forest. Let's get the shallow water, smaller brush. Ah, dang it, went too far. And this is how we'll come up along the edge. And we'll use the rocks to try to conceal up. Oh, went too far. 
We'll use the rocks to try... Oh, went too far. <laughs> Dang it. To conceal the fact of what we're doing. Right over here. And, oh my gosh, it's a huge rock, but it's perfect for what we need right there. I'm going to need some more large rocks. Oh gosh, not that large. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. All right, maybe one right there. Um, ooh, look at that. Look at how cool that looks. <gasps> I like it. See? See? So using some of these rocks, different sizes, please. There we go. Kind of with one another to create this look there and then come over here and over here and let's see some teensy rocks maybe too many rocks that's too many rocks all right there we go oh red kangaroo one is going to give birth oh let's go look at that really quick and then we'll come back to the the plot of pie all right We've got lots of birds in our zoo today. Hello, little red kangaroo. I'm gonna get y'all some, some carrots or whatever you wanna eat to celebrate the new baby, huh? All right, oh, and again, marsupial. So normally this would be a pouch-based baby. Oh, there we go. Welcome, little one. You're so brightly colored. Oh, that's so much fun. More little babies. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so they're, they're very happy and taken care of. Old Salty has eaten his beef shanks, so he must be pretty happy. All right, and let's come back over, continue working on the platypi area. Ooh, there's blocks of ice with clams now, jars with fish, rubber toys, because we have new levels, a new star level. All right, and then we're gonna put the shelters over here. So I'm gonna put this shelter right there, and this shelter right there, and we've already put the food down. Um, yeah, there's definitely not enough room for the temperate rainforest thing. We'll put the bone down, just in case that helps. Why are you putting my spotted couscous in crates? Stop putting him in a crate. I wonder if it's because I'm using the zoo wall? Who knows? I don't know why they're agitating my zookeepers. Alright, and now we need to put down some of the plants. So, temperate rainforest plants, please. Or not temperate rainforest, just temperate forest plants. There we are. Eater plants, let's see. Indian gooseberries. The Indian gooseberry actually looks pretty cool, but it's not quite what we're going for here. And people, oh, somebody already came over. Oh, and donated. Oh, that's so cool. This little girl just came over to donate over there. And now she's leaving the zoo because we didn't have enough toys for her. Ugh, we didn't have enough for her to do, I mean, not toys. All right, well, you know, and she could probably enjoy a nice playground of her own. All right, we'll put this over here so I know where my zookeepers are gonna get in. I feel so eager because it's like a, a beautiful platypus. So I'm like super excited and I'm like, oh, what to pick, what to pick. I just don't even know what to put down. All these beautiful temperate forest trees and plants and everything. Which one should I select? All these are so pretty. They're just so tall. I don't know if they're exactly what I need. Um, the Sydney blue gums are here with their little endangered selves. The small birch trees, these trees. Let's just go for all of the trees. I need to just look over all of them again. All right, let's see, European apple, acacia tree, this little guy, um, what's this? Hmm, I like this guy. Even if you wouldn't be native to this area, I kind of like how he looks. So, or should I put over some of the mangrove trees? I'm not sure. I like that he goes in the water, I think is the thing. All right, I'm gonna put you over there. And then I'm gonna grab a mangrove tree. What? Somebody reached a, a pressing hygiene need and I, oh, it must have been one of the new babies. Because you really have to groom those new babies as soon as they're born if you want to keep them super happy. Well, darn bucket. I didn't expect that to happen. Alright, so let's do this. I like it. See, I kind of wanted to do a few trees at the back. Like so. Because that makes it look like a nice little backdrop. Alright, and let's go ahead. We need to add in... More plants! There's always so much plant work to be done when you're trying just to get things looking nice. Let's see. Bilberries. The happy bilberries. Blueberries. Not native to the area. But again, you have to be you have to be flexible. Holy moly, those couscous have already grown up. I can't believe it. Alright, bulrushes. Cattails. Do they have cattail-like things? Pond, curly pondweed in Australia? See, I don't know. It's not an area of my expertise, so it's more fun to learn about. 
All right, large eel grass that would be flattened if we put it on the water, but tall if we put it in the water. Um, let's see, lady slippers, a bunch of little grasses, a bunch of little ferns. Probably we can get away with doing some of these little ferns. I do like them. They do look really cool. Uh, let's see, do we have more big ferns? Let's see, what about a big, yeah, that's more like it. Some nice big ferns we can sprinkle around. Maybe put some little tiny ferns down too, like like so. Little teensy baby ferns. All right, I'm pretty content with this so far. Just kind of keeping it limited to simple ferns and some other pieces. There we go, there we go. There we go, and let's see, there we go. All right, good. Good, all right. Well, I think we're gonna go ahead and call this kind of done for now, unless I run across anything that really leaps out at me. Some little flowers, maybe some little flowers. I do like little flowers. And then we'll leave the rest of the area open to the platypus's enjoyment. Hopefully it's a nice area. Do, 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 There we go. All right, and now my platypi. We're gonna get a boy and a girl, and we're gonna see what happens. There's a little girl. They're so tiny! There's a little boy. Oh my goodness! Then we'll put in the little block of clams. Block of, like, ice with clams in it. Oh, look at you cuties! Look at you! You're so itty bitty! Do you know how itty bitty and adorable you are? They're like, run for it! Into the water! Escape their view! Where'd you go, little buddies? I want to see you. Oh my gosh! Oh, that, that mangrove tree actually is a good position thing. All right, so they're swimming around. There goes a block of ice with clams bonking against our head. All right, are they having a good time? There they go. Hopefully they can reach the food. All right, we'll swim up here. They seem okay so far. They're right under the water right here. Can you guys knock it up? It seems like they're having a little trouble getting up right there, so let's go ahead and smooth that out. Oh, the Health and Husbandry Association, a nonprofit organization, is holding a 50 50 raffle and has offered to sell you a block of 10 tickets for $1,000. Their portion will be used to benefit the health of domestic animals. Sure, we'll go ahead. I don't mind. We have. Oh, yay! Um, cool. One of our guests has won some money. All right, that's great. Well, I'm glad that they're happy. That's that's a unique one. I don't think I've ever really gotten that one before. All right, platypi. Oh, here come people. Here come people. Are you coming over to view the platypus? I hope you can see him. The spotted couscous is already pregnant again. Oh, boy. They work fast. All right. Little ones, you appear to be having some difficulty. You really do. I'm not entirely sure what to do for you over here. Flatten the terrain a little bit, maybe? Um, let's see. Uh, they're not very good. They're not very good at getting back out of the water, are they? Maybe do some of this. There we go. That did something. Are you guys figuring it out now? Or are you, are you not figuring it out? Did I mess everything up forever? Well, there's one. There's two. Platypi? I can't see you after I pull out of the water either, so let's go this way. All right, platypus. What are you trying to do? Going to investigate the bone. There's one. Going to investigate the bone. There's two. All right. I need to figure out how to keep them safe. Poor little things. Hopefully that'll help. All right. Is that better? Going to rest in the kelp bed. Walking around, being a cute little platypus. I hope that helps. Hi, Bubby. You're so tiny. You are so tiny. Do you even know what it means to be a platypus? Oh, everybody's gasping with joy. They're so happy. Oh boy, I hope that they can reach everything okay. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on them because this is a little bit trickier than I thought it would be because I can't see them in the water. All right, going to rest in the kelp bed. Good for you. Our spy couscous is just off to pee, just doing whatever. Are you kind of bored? She's kind of bored. Um, oh, let's give her a lookout post maybe. 
That should help. And let's give her some toys. I'm not sure if they have too many toys. All right, there we go. That should help them. All right, so we have added in the platypi, even though I'm going to be like very nervously hovering over them. What's going on here? Wow, are they all talking about my platypus? What are they doing? The bench is really comfortable. Wow, I've never seen that big group of people just nodded together talking before. There we go. Endangered Species Challenge. The Endangered Animal Alliance is offering your zoo a free species you probably don't have. Um, three different... Okay, so we need to take pictures of three different endangered species. Pretty sure... Pretty sure that we can easily pull that off. I am pretty sure the platypus counts. So let's come over. Alright, seems like it's having a better time of things. Hi, cutie. Yep, the platypus counts. So there's one, and we need to take two more pictures. All right, and it looks like the platypi. Oh my, what was that? That was adorable! Oh, there's another adorable splash. It looks like everything's going okay. Oh, and this kid is exhausted and parched. So let's go ahead, and everybody's headed over here. We should take advantage of this. And should we put a restaurant in really quickly? I paused because I don't want to like miss the opportunity. Do we have any family restaurants yet? There's the gift shop. Do we have a restaurant? I don't think we have a restaurant yet. All right, yep, no restaurant just yet. So let's go ahead and grab a drink still. What kind of drink stand should we put down? There's soda, bottled water. I usually make them go for the bottled water. Let's make them drink some bottled water if they really want to drink. There we go, bottled water. And let's go and snag ourselves. Let's see, a trash can so that they won't make a huge mess of things. Right here. We'll add another bench. There we go. And then I'll go grab a bathroom so that people don't make an even bigger mess because of lack of bathrooms. And maybe, what is going on? Why is everybody so upset? What's going on? They're all thirsty and hungry. I'm really hungry. I'm not amused enough. I'm super hungry. Oh my, oh my goodness, look at that line. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead. The kangaroo is now pregnant yet again. So they're having their babies really, really quickly. Can I find any? Those are all just like snacks and dessert carts. Let's snag. Where is the other food stall? There we go. We'll snag this food stall over here, I suppose. Kind of balance things. So there's food on one side. And there will be trash cans available. I wish I could decorate that area, but it won't let me reach like the area down in front of the exhibits. And then let's see, I guess I could put some another exhibit next to them. But I kind of will go ahead and we'll put the restrooms like right here. There we go. And let's grab the path right here. There we go. And then we'll put down some bamboo to kind of blend the path in. All right, come here, you. Like so, and like so, and we'll work on the rust as time goes on because we still haven't really, oh, the little splashing platypi. We still haven't really worked too in depth on trying to like spruce the whole zoo up. We just have been adding in exhibits, but I'm pretty happy with that. So our platypus pretty happy, spot couscous, She's a little bit happier. She's resting in the tree fern and she's pregnant. Red kangaroos are pregnant and one platypus is pretty hungry, but it's going into the water and the other one has eaten. So I think it's gonna be okay. All right, well, I'm really happy to see that our platypus are, are getting along and we'll have to see if they adjust to their new exhibit. And we have happy, happy people because now they have something to eat and drink in a restroom to use while they watch the platypus. So we'll have to continue adding to our island treasures zone next time. And I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.